Hey guys, uh, I'm going to do a really cool demo today, uh, as informative for me as it may be for you. I want to listen back. I'm using uh, Fender Custom Shop. This is my 63 Telecaster. Started life as a heavy relic. I did have it refinished in Satin Black by Pat Wilkins. This has Voodoo TE60 pickups in it. What I'm demoing is this Car Super B. This is a 10 watt amplifier. It runs on a unique pair of power tubes. I think, I think they're called 6BM8. It has a 10-inch speaker, this particular version. They do make the same Super B. It's a little bit bigger, a little taller, and deeper with a 12-inch. But this is the 10-inch. And I'm doing a New Year's Eve gig tonight. I play a lot of venues where I'm playing at conversational volume, where I can play with a little attitude, but people need to socialize and talk over the music. So I wanted an amplifier that's small but has some attitude, um, that takes drive really well, and the tone stack is patterned, I believe, after a blackface amplifier, uh, reminiscent of a Super Reverb. There are three switch settings on the Super B. Um, it's a rotary knob, 64, 68, or 72, and those stand for the years that it's patterned after, 64 being scooped blackface, 68 having just a little bit more classic late 60s Fender Deluxe tone, and then 72 is like a modded, hot-rotted uh, blackface. So I want to showcase what I can get out of it as a clean platform, because that's how I use it with pedals for overdrive for solos, uh, but I'll also show you what it will do when you light it up on its own. It does have a 2 watt mode where the attenuator knob can go from 0 all the way up to 2 watts. So great amp for just lighting it up um, at home at night, in your studio, etc. But let's showcase it as a clean platform. I'm in 64 mode right now. And I do have a Fender Deluxe Reverb next to it. Maybe at the end I'll just give you a little comparison taste. But here's what it sounds like. This is middle pickup position on the Telecaster. The reverb is down at a little bit over 9 o'clock. Just this nice, lush, deep reverb. All right, so...
Effects RC Boost as a clean boost for my solos, that's about the volume I play at. That's 64 mode. The volume on the knob, the input channel, is uh, right about 11 o'clock. I have the treble at 10 o'clock, the mid range is at 2 o'clock, and the bass is about 2 o'clock. And listen to that. With, this is with the delay on it. Analog man, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. Seymour Duncan Vapor Trails, it's an analog delay. something a little bit more country. drive sometimes that pushes reverb a little bit harder and uh, I don't want to get too splashy. Um, let me show you the bridge pickup. Sting. There's a 64, 68, or 72 position. I'm in 64 now. Let me move it to 68. I will probably re-EQ, but I'll just show you. Here's 64. <laughs> take the volume down. Um, I'm trying to evaluate will this work well for my small listening rooms where I need clean headroom at that conversational volume. Right now I'm thinking the answer is yes. Uh, again with single coils so that certainly helps. Let me go to the neck pickup.
me take the delay off. with a drive pedal um, right now again at the restaurants that I play at um, when I need to be at a certain volume in a smaller room that's just a cool level of bark but now let me show you this I have a Greer light speed that pushes the front end really nicely let's check this out ODS-1. This is an overdrive pedal that has a little bit more crunch and gain than the light speed. So here's clean, just a bridge pickup, just the amp, no other pedals. Here's what the shanks. Let's go to the 72 switch mode. So here's, I'm in 68. This is no pedals, I turn them off.
Man, that's really nice. Now, again, for any of these switch modes, I might modify the tone stack for what I want. So I left everything equal just to show you the switch positions and how they are different from one another. Coming back to 64, you'll hear how it's leaner. It's more like a, a scoop deluxe. Hear how thin it got? But let me come to the neck pickup and do what I do.
passive amp, I did not even go into the attenuator mode. When I switch that down, there's a knob that goes zero to two watts. Let me just do that. So here's two watts. I switch the mode. Let me drive the um, input volume up. Take that up to 72. So I won't spend time there because that's actually not how I intend to use the amp, but if I wanted to play late at night and just rip on some classic rock or do that overdriven saturated thing or record with this amplifier, you could do that built in without ever hitting any drive pedals. So Car Super B, I'm going to do one more thing, I know this is a long video, uh, but since I've done all this, let me come back to the 64 mode. Take the volume back down to about um, noon. so I could spend more time there. But I just wanted to give you a taste of the Deluxe to show you how remarkable this little 110 combo is, um, the size of a Princeton, give or take. So, long video. I hope this was helpful. What do you guys think?